Amanda and I'm a trainer at Mind Apples and today I'm going to talk to you about resilience. Recently I've had a lot of people asking me how can I be more resilient or how can I support my children or family to be more resilient in these difficult times. Well the definition of resilience is the ability to adapt to adverse conditions or the ability to change. So it's no wonder this is coming up quite a bit at the moment people are asking about it. A good place to start is with Hopful's conservation of resources theory. Hopful believes that resources are absolutely key to resilience. So what are resources? Well, they could be anything. They could be psychological resources like your personality or your well-being. They could be social resources like the friends and family or network you have around you. Or they could be practical resources such as having an income, money in the bank or the tools you need to do your job. Resources could be anything that you use to achieve what you need to achieve. Hopful believes that when we are faced with a challenge or change, we ask ourselves a question. And sometimes this question is quite deliberate and sometimes we do this unconsciously, but we ask ourselves, do I have the resources to deal with this? If the answer is yes, great, we get on with it. We see it as a challenge, we're pretty motivated and we get on with the change. If the answer is no, this can really lead to a negative mood, negative feelings, feeling overwhelmed and even stress. So resources are really key to resilience. So what can we do right now? Well, for some people now is a great time to build resources. Maybe get on and do that course you've been meaning to do and maybe invest in some new technology or make new friends or meet new people online. However, for some, this is not a good time to um, create new resources, but it's a good time to protect our resources. So we could have a think about what resources we have. Why not make a list? List all the resources you have, all the people you have in your life that support, encourage and help you. And um, make a list of all your qualities, what you are good at. This may feel uncomfortable at first, but you know, you could get there, have a list um, of all the things that you're good at. Um, and also your practical resources. So make a list of the things that you have or the things that you need to do your job or to achieve what you need to achieve. And then we can think about how we can conserve those resources. So if those resources are practical, maybe you could service your bike if you're using your bike to get from A to B. Um, maybe you could service your computer. Uh, now is a good time to get rid of all those photos we don't need and release a bit of memory in our computer maybe. Um, or maybe you could think about your social resources, get in touch with people, maybe it's somebody you haven't spoke to in a while or somebody that might be able to help you in your current situation, get in touch and see if they're still there for you. And the other thing we can do is look after our minds, so protect our psychological resources and we can think about what we can do to look after our minds and we're here to help with that. So keep checking into Mind Apples, we've got lots of videos and tips that can help you out. Think about how you can build, conserve your resources and what those resources are.